section, we're going to spend our time learning how to work with files in Ruby. Uh, everything from creating a new file, from editing a file, appending to one, reading one in, things like that. Uh, you may wonder you know, when that's really going to come into play. And I've found that it's actually quite helpful when I have some values that I want to print out to a text file and uh, let somebody download them or if I want to store something and I don't want to rely on having to have a database connection or something like that uh, there's plenty of times that you're going to want to do this and so it's good to have a pretty high level concept and some practical knowledge also on how to do that so I'm going to first start off by showing you how to create a file so in order to do that you're going to use the keyword file and this is calling the file class and say open and then the first thing you're going to do is give the name and path that you want to do so you may notice on the left hand side here that i'm inside of a uh, of something called files lessons and so in order to get this running then i'm going to need to give it a path if i want to put uh, if i want to put this file there so i'm going to say files dash lessons and this is going to be teams.txt and so the next thing we do is pass the type of options that we need to pass in and in this case we have the ability to put in uh, writing uh, reading appending things like that so i'm going to put uh, w plus which stands for uh, reading and writing uh, just to give you a quick breakdown and i'll uh, comment this and keep in the file for your reference uh, if I used for an option R this would mean uh, just plain reading if I did an A that would mean appending to a file if I did W that is just writing to a file if I did W plus like I did here it's reading and writing which I'll that's what I'll typically use and if I do a plus that is going to be uh, open a file for reading and appending and last one's R plus and with R plus this is opening a file uh, for updating both reading and writing and I'm going to comment all this out so our program will still run uh, but you can use this as a reference point and I'll put all this on github so uh, so I'm doing this file open I'm passing the file path and then the options and now it accepts a block so I'm gonna pass this block in give it an iterator variable of f and then say f dot write and with write now I'm going to pass in as an argument whatever I want here so I'm gonna say the uh, twins the Astros the Mets and the Yankees okay so if all this works then all of this is gonna get dumped into a file called teams and it's gonna be put right here in our files lessons directory so I want to go files lessons and then creating a file okay come back here and there you go we have teams dot text right there and that's perfect so that's one way of doing it so let me show you a different way of doing it just for future reference so I'm gonna say uh, let's say we wanted to store this in a variable so I'm gonna say file to save that's our variable and now I'm going to instead of file open I'm gonna say file dot new and this is where we can pass in these same parameters new and open take the same parameters in this case and now I can just call file to save and then put whatever I want to in this file so I can say puts and in this case I don't want teams I want let's see we'll just say other teams okay so in this other teams I'm going to put the A's the 
Diamondbacks. Uh, let's see, who else do we have? Mariners. And let's, we can go with the Marlins. Okay. So, and this, that's only going to put it in the file. Now, in, when we use this method, we also have to save it. So I'm going to do file to save and then just close it out. So now if I come back here, run it again, and you can see that we have other teams right here. And saving to a file can be really fast, so it's a great way to be able to do it. And you can see you have two different options. You have either the ability to append using a block or uh, using kind of a step-by-step -step procedural process right here. So in the next video, we're going to get into how to read from a file.